According to the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry Malaysia, progressed remarkably since the third industrial master plan IMP3 between 2006 and 2020. During this period, the manufacturing sector contributed approximately 24% to Malaysia's gross domestic product GDP, demonstrating its significant role in shaping the nation's economy. Hence, right now, we want to look into the journey towards digital transformation, specifically in the manufacturing industry. And right now, ready on the line is Hamanta Banerjee, the Vice President of Public Cloud Data Services and Rackspace. It's fantastic to have you, Hamanta. Hamanta, how is you, data Lina. currently driving innovation in the manufacturing industry? Let's start with Malaysia first. Sure. So, I mean, in today's connected, so like you rightly said, manufacturing contributes roughly 24% of Malaysia's GDP. So driving innovation within that sector is really critical to ensure that Malaysia continues to grow uh, in the in the new connected world. So in, in today's connected world, organizations are really dependent on partners across the supply chain to drive efficiency. And you can achieve this only by capturing the signals that are getting generated across the supply chain and then using that to drive innovations, drive efficiency, um, you know, in the products and services that you provide. Uh, you know, there are lots of examples that I could take. For example, sensor data from your machines and devices can be used to drive predictive maintenance and quality control, customer data from online platforms such as Shopee and social media can enable you to deliver personalized products and services. Uh, of course, Malaysia is at the forefront of these initiatives. Um, we have been studying industry forward, uh, which is, you know, which, which is helping to fund the upskilling and implementation of outcome-based uh, solutions within the manufacturing sector, drive innovations, drive labor productivity. And I think initiatives like that will really help to, uh, you know, to achieve the fourth industrial revolution uh, by, year, by year 2030 as envisioned by the government of Malaysia. Definitely, this is to increase uh, efficiency. And how many companies, how many companies are leveraging on technologies like IoT, automations, machine learning, and even AI for data-driven innovation in manufacturing? Yeah. So uh, again, um, you know, in order for you to 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 be competitive in the global marketplace, manufacturers need to embrace digital transformation and need to embrace technologies like IoT, machine learning, AI digitization and so on. Um, and you, you know, what this allows you to do is uh, it allows you to eliminate kind of manual activities that a lot of organizations perform today. Uh, it allows manufacturers to collect, analyze and act on data from various sources, such as their machines, customers, social media in almost real time. And by using these innovations, manufacturers can improve their productivity, quality, efficiency, and customer satisfaction. So it really touches all aspects of the business. Uh, so they can, they can use it to drive efficiency in their back office. They can also use it to create new products, services, and business models to meet the changing needs of the customers uh, in, the, in, the, in this uh, millennium. With every innovation comes also with, um, we can say, opportunities, but also followed by challenges. What are the challenges and concerns related to data manufacturing, including issues like uh, data residency and centralization versus decentralization? Yeah, so I think some of these challenges, Malaysian go government has already recognized and it's part of the industry forward uh, program uh, uh, in place. So there are, there are kind of, Three major, the three major uh, challenges that we foresee as as service provider on public cloud, working with a lot of manufacturing organizations in Malaysia. Uh, the first and most important is uh, talent shortage. So, how do we make sure that we have the right set of skilled resources within within the country to ensure that? You know, we can not only take the first step in digital transformation, but we can continue to evolve, extend, and keep up to up to speed with what else is happening in the uh, in the in the industry. Um, so, spending spending resources to ensure that we have the right uh, you know 
training for the uh, citizens of Malaysia to make them digitally aware and um, is is really critical. Uh, the second is cost of implementation. A lot of organizations uh, have to choose between uh, you know automation digitization versus running their business. Um, you know, helping them kind of get over the initial uh, hump uh, by 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 providing. Uh, by providing funding, I think will really help organizations to embrace digitalization and to start to see the gains that they can achieve from from doing automation. And most and lastly, most important, I think, is the infrastructure, right? Uh, ensuring that it is secured, ensuring that the national interests of Malaysia are uh, are uh, are followed, ensure that all the data processing capabilities can be leveraged in a cost-effective and secure kind of manner is, is super critical. And that are, the, uh, that are the challenges that we must address uh, critically and urgently. And how about the strategies being employed to break down data silos and optimize data usage for innovation in manufacturing? Um, you know, a, a large number of organizations that we work with are, uh, are following some some very basic strategies to make sure they are ahead of the curve in terms of meeting these challenges. Um, the f the first is uh, you know use reliable infrastructure to deploy these uh, these applications. So use the right. There's a lot of innovation happening on public cloud, whether it's AWS or Azure or, or Google Cloud. So use the right cloud infrastructure, which provides scalable processing capabilities uh, and allowing you to share data across locations across regions across the entire supply chain with your partners uh, use technologies that allow you to embed these innovations within your business processes as opposed to you know being in silos so that ensures that you're getting you know adoption across your your entire organization and lastly uh, you know think of security as a day one concern ensure that you know think you're thinking about protecting your data um, right from day one as opposed to something that you add on uh, you know at a later point once once the application is running uh, you know these three kind of working together ensures that uh, you know your your innovation or your digitization strategy is scalable and you can continue to invest in it uh, over over the years and these are the things that we must uh, identify and how about the policies uh, are current policies support the transform of this ecosystem yeah, I mean, uh, we we see a number of good uh, goals uh, set in the industry forward. I think um, continuing to continuing to expand on those policies will really uh, help uh, you know make the uh, the digitization and the automation of the manufacturing sex, uh, sector in Malaysia sustainable. Um, so uh, there, there are a couple of simple things that we that we discussed. Um, you know, uh, what what we would what we would hope ha happens is uh, you know allocate more resources uh, to help businesses achieve resilience through the use of uh, cloud and data across across the sector uh, you can achieve that uh, by funding outcome driven different projects to drive digitalization and automation of business processes and to drive innovation um, in addition upskilling of works uh, workforce uh, right from schools and universities as well as as uh, upskilling of of uh, of lateral work workforce to ensure that you know this this these changes are ingrained within the organization and helps not only the organizations but also helps the citizens of of Malaysia and our our hope is that we you know we continue to see ourselves as a partner to help Malaysia, Malaysian organizations achieve the digital transformation goal. Basically, all the aspects you have just touched from the factors of the challenges and the solutions in the upcoming Blanja 1 2024 that will be a table and presented uh, this incoming Friday. What is uh, your hope, your budget wish list when it comes to the upcoming budget? Yeah, so, um, you know, so I'm, I'm hoping that there are, there are specific announcements against uh, funding initiatives for the manufacturing sector to help them leverage cloud and AI technologies to for for both driving efficiencies in their organization as well as to help them 
you know, drive innovations in their products and services that they deliver to their customers. Um, and any announcements around, um, you know, enabling of, of the work, workforce, especially the, 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 um, the lateral workforce in organizations and helping them become uh, data and AI aware uh, would also be something that we are looking forward to. All right, um, definitely as we delve uh, deeper into the journey towards a digital transformation in the manufacturing industry, I want to say thank you very much for this interesting uh, share. I want to say thank you to Hamenta Barnaji, the Vice President of Public Cloud Data Services at Rackspace. And stay tuned as Nyagawani will be taking a short break and return with my colleague Najib Aru, who will be discussing further into the ageing society. What are benefits and how can we understand the silver economy moving forward? And we'll be taking a short break and we'll be right back.